The biomech community is a uh, is uh, the body or the organization behind the life science cluster located in, in North Denmark. We have the research uh, in areas such as pain research, uh, telemedicine, uh, neurostimulation, and uh, they cooperate with Alba Hospital both as regards uh, the research but also with the, the education of candidates. If you look at, at the life science uh, sector, you can divide it into three industries. You have the pharma industry, you have the biotech industry, and then you have the medtech. Our strongholds is uh, in the medtech. With the drop foot system, we can support the patient and has an easier way of walking. Reading the project was started as a PhD project at the Olbo University. We suddenly realized what potential of technology uh, we have here and eventually we found that um, the level of cooperation we could do together uh, was clear to an extent that we actually started um, incorporating the, uh, the company. We are making what is called an active implant. An active implant is a a product that is implanted into the human body. There's a stimulator in the implant which has a wire going to an electrode. Uh, and the electrode is then surrounding or touching a nerve and giving stimulation to that nerve. We found in our Borg an excellent environment that is completing our own uh, portfolio and that lives up to our uh, standards of quality and innovation. This is a small demonstration of our tongue control system. Uh, my colleague uh, Romulus here, he has the system inside his mouth and the system transmits from his mouth to the computer, which then controls our small wheelchair demo. Um, and the system can basically both be used for wheelchair control, as we show here, but also for controlling a computer, controlling the mouse or typing on a computer. The tongue control system uh, is basically a wireless keyboard uh, you can mount in your upper palatal area. And then through the use of a, a piercing of a, a special metal, you can then activate these sensors or keys of this keyboard. So when we move the tongue piercing, that I have mounted on, on the stick, we, we can see the, the mouse cursor move. And if we select one of these uh, uh, keys on the on-screen keyboard, um, we can write that key. So we see it's written on the, sc on the screen. Having uh, all of this collaboration with companies in terms of both uh, education and, and research um, allows for a very innovative environment at Olbo University. Anybody Technology is a company that's a spin-off from a research project at the Altberg University. The research project uh, ended up in a piece of software with which uh, industries can calculate on how the environment affects the human body. Anybody Technology helps our customers in the orthopedic industry, the automotive industry, and in universities make research and make better products that provide ergonomic solutions for their customers. Up to now, implants and prosthesis, for example, are designed with almost no data at all. They're just based on empirics. But we provide information, really values for the loads and the forces acting on prosthesis and implants. And this helps our customers to improve the implants, to make them more reliable, and to provide even solutions where they cannot provide solutions at all today. Alberg is a great city to be placed in because we have many skilled people coming out of the university. And so we're drawing from the human resources that we can get from here. And we have a great deal of cooperation with the, the biomed community and with other uh, business interests here in the community. The purpose of biomed community is to um, assist with the development of new companies and to uh, also develop the existing companies in the region. And finally, to attract uh, foreign investors uh, to North Denmark. We had the ability to take technology and skill sets out of the telecommunication industry to design these uh, telehealth monitors, which is basically a medical device, but, but uh, it's not being used in a hospital, but in a patient's 
private home. The Telecat project uh, is about COPD patients. 20% of them are uh, going to the hospitals and they have a very high uh, readmission uh, rate. And within the first month after they've been discharged from the hospital, 24% uh, of them are readmitted again. The patient will monitor themselves. They will have to monitor their blood pressure, a weight, a pulse, saturation. That means how much oxygen do they have in their, in their blood. And these data are sent to the record at the district nurses. We hope that Telecat will give us the possibility to send the patient home earlier than now, because Telecat can uh, make some observation uh, for the patient. We've got so much experience now that we can bring together competences from, uh, from uh, firms, university, healthcare professionals and, and patients. It felt like the number zero. Like the number zero? Yeah. And how painful was it? Slightly painful. Okay. So let's take a look at it here. What we can do is actually we can evaluate, we can measure pain, which is very unique because pain is a very multi dimensional uh, perception. So putting numbers on pain is very important. So if you want to measure pain, you have to try to put numbers on how much pain do you actually feel. And we can do that using lots of different high technology. Uh, methods. So we have the competences of developing high technology in combination with the knowledge concerning the fundamental aspects of the pain system. You can see that it's drawing the number seven. So you, did, you didn't perceive the number correctly. At most other research centers, they do either animal research, healthy volunteers or patients. We do all. We do animal research, we do healthy volunteers and we do patients. So we translate knowledge from animals and the whole way up to patients suffering from chronic pain. We have had very good opportunities here in this part of Denmark because we have a very innovative university. For a company who wants to establish activities in the region, it's an advantage the easy access to knowledge at the university. The research environment and the clinical environment and finally the private companies, they all cooperate. I think we have uh, several kinds of collaboration opportunities to make that link between academics and, and business.